Hey everybody, I know it's been about a month since I talked to you last. I've been quite busy with uh, personal things and uh, working on the on the garden and, and just I've just been a busy person. So um, finally able to start recording again. Okay, so let me just give you a quick little update on where we're at with uh, working on the garden and uh, the property. I'm gonna turn around. Okay, so over here on the side of my house, I cleared out the bushes. The plan is to put some strawberry beds right along the, the side of the house. Uh, looking over here, as you can see, I had these two trees cut down in this location. You guys saw the previous video. I've cleared that all out, and along the edge here, what I'm doing here with this stump here is I want to make another strawberry bed because uh, strawberries like acidic soil, and uh, pine trees create needles that create uh, acid into the soil. So that's what we're gonna do there. I also went and did some research. I'm gonna be putting fruit trees right along here. And then if you remember, I knocked all those trees down. I've also pulled out all the stumps, dug them out. I didn't want to show it to you because it was kind of boring of me just digging that out. And now, now I have some holes there ready to put trees in. And I went out to Adams County, just uh, west of Gettysburg. There's a place called Boyer's Orchards They uh, and Nursery. They make, uh, uh, they have saplings that I'm going to uh, have. Now right in this area, it's still grassy. I got to cut this down. And I'm going to put a chicken coop back in the back corner there. What I did was my original raised bed idea, I thought I would use them for, uh, just to use them for vegetable gardening, but I've changed my mind. I'm going to turn them into uh, compost bins. I'm going to line them with plastic. So right now, Brian is just, he's nailing the boards together, and then we will eventually put some plastic. And Brian is a Boy Scout, and one of his... I'm a Cub Scout! Yeah, Charlie's a Cub Scout. Stop for a second, Brian. One of his uh, requirements is to maintain a, a compost bin. So this is one of the requirements is put one together. So that's where we're at. We might we might take some of these leaves that I have in the black plastic bags and dump them down inside. And then I had assembled this other plastic compost bin. I've been using it for the last few months just as a temporary fix. Uh, as you can see, I've been composting. And then under here is uh, wood chips that I got from work, the blue. So we'll be adding that. So that's where we're at now. Um, I'm going to stop and then when we're done, I'll show you where we're at with uh, building the compost bin. All right, take care. Okay, so it's starting to get pretty late here and we're losing the light. But real quick, what we've done is we've uh, hammered them together real quick, right there in the corner. We'll put one there and then we put the nails between them so they're connected. We cut some black plastic in order to keep the moisture in. And Brian is now stapling the plastic on the inside and then what we'll do tomorrow is we will add some leaves and other compost right Brian? Sure. Okay and then he has to maintain this compost bin for 90 days right Brian? Uh, yes. Hey Brian. Right? <laughs> okay yeah. well stay with us folks we're gonna keep working on this garden even though it's uh the 3rd of February, we're still out here, and so hopefully next month I'll be able to put some potatoes and some of the uh, cold weather crops in. All right, thanks for watching. Remember, please like and subscribe. We, I appreciate it, and uh, keep it. Uh, check out Art and Breed like I recommend it. Justin Rhodes, uh, Sean James Cameron, they got some good sites. Uh, I strongly encourage you to um, like their sites because they're on some adventures as well. All right, hey, have a good night. Take care.